I'm Kendra. I love to watch. And this is my reaction to The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. Um, so all of the sneak peeks and spoilers and previews have said that this is a Michonne centric episode, which I guess, um, I mean, if I had to guess, I'm going to say they're probably going to show like what she's been going through leading up to their reunion. But I, um, I don't know. I just, I had such a good time the last episode. It was so riveting. It was so heartbreaking um the music was good the way it was shot like the walker like the, I'm, I'm interested in the walkers again even though they call them delts on the show i don't know i don't like that i like walkers. oh it was just so good and seeing andrew lincoln acting again and like giving this this powerhouse performance is rick grimes but rick grimes in this desperate sort of frustrated broken um version of him that is like contemplating suicide and chopping off his um so and 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 dreaming of um his wife the love of his life and then giving up giving up um that it, it kind of reminds me of after the saviors and him having to accept the fact that they were outnumbered, outgunned, outsmarted, out everything, and that they had to surrender to fucking Negan and the Saviors because he didn't want to lose anybody else. And he was so he was he I won't call him broken, but his he was definitely humbled and muted and retreated inside himself during that period. But it was Michonne who lit the fire so to speak inside him to fight and so that's what his dreams kind of reminded me of him seeing her this lovely non-apocalypse version of her i've been thinking about that like wow um but her message to him being basically hey don't give up i believe in you you can find a way to get out of this situation and then him essentially doing what her dream self told him not to do. Well, I mean, he, he, he gave in. I won't say he gave up, but he gave in. He said, hey, I'm going to join. I'm going to do this. I'm going to participate in Ogilford's plan. And then Ogilford dies. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because it is The Walking Dead. And, you know, everybody dies in The Walking Dead. And, you know, R.I.P. Carl and Glenn. That really surprised me because he, he just... He was laying this foundation for something really big and he wanted Rick to be a part of that. And he was talking about changing the CRM from within. And you know, they read books on the Cold War and shit. So when dude literally exploded, <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. Um, but of course that led to this crazy moment. So anyway, let me stop talking because let me get to this fucking episode because what the fuck happened? What what is going on? I need my babies. Okay. Uh huh. -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, The Walking Dead, the ones who live, episode two. So excited. I'm so excited. Oh God, poor Rick. You wanted me to join his program. Judith is grown, RJ is grown. What is Rick gonna do about his kids? What is she, how is she gonna tell him? What's that sound? Wow, that is so cool. That kind of looked like um, Scott Gimble. I know Greg Nic Nicotero likes to put himself in, in as a walker sometimes. Six years after the bridge. I lost someone. I just found out that he's alive. This is the last thing I saw from the walker. I saw Okay, 90s haircut. I appreciate that. Could I have a horse? Before uh, ah, get right to business. I'm eager to go because I just found out that he's... You could be an asset to this place. Person. Yo, I just, uh... I could just go. You saved my sister's boyfriend and my sister. So we should talk about more than just... Just a weird horse. <laughs> we have a community. 
we have kids, kids who I need to see. So I have to find him and I have to go. It's no us. They say you don't stop for anyone. We live by the same rules. This is pretty we don't stop. fucked up. I'm trying to save two, we could lose 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on out of there before they get hostile. Y'all cannibals? Oh. I'm out. You know the rear guard tried to stop me from going after them? Of course you do. Because I keep this place going. Oh, oh, shit. Well, I'm I'm starting to oh. my wagon and the rest of my goddamn torch. This dude is angry. She saved us. Yeah, the lady. The thing right there. The whole Hi. Time. You want your own wagon? Even if I didn't have somewhere to be. Is that getting frisky? What's, what's going on? Okay, so many Where's things are happening here. Be? Place called Bridger Shipyard. That's a stupid ass plan. Five mile wide horns of the whaling. I'm going. Oh, the what? Let me get you a horse. You can have your pick. Nah, she can have her goddamn. <laughs> Who is the leader here? <laughs> is it is a 90s haircut or is it, is it uh, little Nat here? Because I feel like it's Nat. He's like, bitch, I'm giving her a horse. I'm begging. I'm wagging. You need more than a horse. Is he flirting? That's my sister's horse and she doesn't know it yet. I can't wait to tell her. Damn, so nobody respects 90s haircut. They're giving her this lady's horse. Thank you. The armor, horse. Oh, wow. They, they made her that armor. You're going to find them. I know it. Or I guess I he made her that armor. So let me get this straight. Rick blew up on a bridge and it's been years. What, right, a, what, right, a, what a sentence. It's just, now I like you. To keep on losing 33% of the people I can stand on this planet. However, recently acquaintance. He totally likes her. I mean, how could he not? She's gorgeous. I'm glad I met you today. You too. That was short lived. That just, that's the okay. end. He was so being so him. generous with her. He gave her the armor, he gave her the journal, he gave her I a horse. This is suicide. It is. I was just being nice. Oh, five <laughs> miles. That's what he said. Five mile wide horde of the whaling. Baby, what the fuck you gonna. Michonne, now you got armor, but that's a lot of guys. That is a lot of walkers, man. That sound. Oh, that's the shit. For oh, oh, that's the shit from the beginning. Oh, wow. Who did that? Natty said you need a beer. That yeah, is uh, a little bit of a, a G. I come back home with me. Michelle well, is like oh, fucking you. catnip. Be a part of you know, it. people are just like, it's just, oh, like you, lady, you got the, the stuff. Her and Rick. Easy. Mm. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. Ah! This place kind of surprised me. For real? Okay. We want to be there when we find Red. You should go. Okay, that's a whole bunch of them. They can't what kill about all, all these people who came with you. Who else in your life? I mean, my mom. My dad wasn't in the picture. And I have bullies. So I started burning things. Is that why you always got a damn lighter? She, uh, she I, I, I've known kids like that. Himself. Did he forget to turn off the stove? Or did the son of a bitch focus me up on how I could build things instead of burn them? That's sweet. Sounds like you loved him. I love him. Please shut up. Uh -huh. Is that Rick? Oh my god, are they gonna attack? This is from the trailer! Oh my god, they're gonna attack! No, it's this group. Is that the napalm that Rick was talking about? I don't know. Why would they? Oh my god, how the fuck are they gonna survive this? How is she still alive? I guess it's not napalm. What the fuck kind of gas is that? Oh my god. Oh my god! This girl's this girl is crazy. Oh my god, she about to die. Wow. She went back out there in that fucking gas. Oh my god. Oh my god. How the fuck did how is she still alive? Well, okay, whatever, she's strong. That's really fucking sad. Oh, this dude fall asleep on next to his body when she told him not to. Wow. wow. Are they all dead? Did she lose them all? Is she gonna have to put them all down? Thank you. She was right. <laughs> 
Dude, you Dude, don't set yourself on fire, <laughs> man. <laughs> don't do it. I thought he was gonna set himself on fire. There's chlorine gas. Read about it as a kid. Chlorine gas. Yeah. Okay. Dream about dropping it on a football team. <laughs> He's a little pyromaniac. The gas burned down our lungs. Are they like in a mall? You gotta know when to go. You gotta know when to give up. That guy, danger. He didn't give up, right? They've been there for a long time. Didn't give up on you. You gotta think it was cause of love. Yo, Michonne is a strong fucking person to survive a fucking chlorine gas attack and still have the will to look at this shit. Well, so they were in there for a, a while. I go to your home and you go to British Terminal. It should be the other way around. This is how it's gotta be. Now this is all I got. Okay. Their whole group got decimated. It's just the two of them. That's now. it. That's crazy. Is it about wanting to see how it ends? Oh, I know how it ends. Is that a walker pulling the cart? <laughs> she said, I'm not kidding. I'm not freaking pulling that damn cart. Are those bodies? Oh my god! Is that a baby? Oh my god! Is that a kid? Did the CRM do that? Like, why? You know, that kind of reminds me of The Last of Us, where the military killed the people because they didn't have room in the shelters and stuff. You know what it says? The Japanese believe a little bit longer. If he were alive, he would have felt his way. He tried. Baby. Baby. You can't believe believe he's Me, he's tried. That he's not gone. This is so... Okay, so everybody's trying to get them to give up. I can do it with you. And Rick did give up. Like, he burned his letters and everything. I will. Is she gonna... Please don't burn his boots. <laughs> oh, my God. What's your own? Damn. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they just out there on their own. What's going on? Is it Rick's helicopter? This time? This time? He's got the screamers. Yo! Yo! He's about to take the helicopter down! Oh my god! That's what killed Okafor. That's what took the helicopter down. These two motherfuckers single-handedly took down these damn helicopters. Because every time they there was an explosion before, it would be like, Beow! Oh, she is not playing. Oh. I don't even know that. I can't remember that lady's name. I'm sorry, lady, but she was cute and pregnant. Wow. Ooh! Which one is Rick? Which one is Rick? Ah! Oh! She's slicing throats! Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. Okay. He looks shocked. He looks absolutely shocked. Oh my god. Oh. That was a great kiss. I'm sorry, I just could not help staring at that. That was beautiful. Oh shit. Now's your chance to run, man. What the fuck is Nat gonna do? His mouth is he he can't not run his mouth. Oh my god, no, Rick, babe. I don't know. I don't know about this plan, Rick. I don't know, man. You might have to Oh! Oh my god! Who did she leave alive? Everybody she met fucking died. Alexandria, that's not safe. Oh, I'll 
Why aren't y'all running? This whole time y'all could just be running. She about to go into the belly of the motherfucking beast. Another shot from the trailer. All right, so she found him. That's good, but she just making shit up off the top of her head. But some of it is. This is kind of giving me the creeps, but it's good. She's good. Wow, she really got in there. She's in there. She's got the consignment shit on. What the fuck is she gonna do in here? It's Rick! It's Rick! Oh! Oh, his hand. I keep forgetting about his hand. <laughs> they literally had him chained. She knows something, something is different. Something's definitely different. She's going to tell that lady. What is it? Uh, oh, damn, I thought she was going to say it. The ones in red. But he was with some of those dudes with the red stripes. Yeah, Michonne, you too fresh and fired up. Oh yeah, she fired up. Oh, he needed her, that's for sure. He's <laughs> he's like, yeah, okay, sure, yeah. Just give me more kisses, please. She's there. No instructions, no notes. I thought he was gonna pass her a note. Okay. What is that? Oh, I love her hair. Michelle, what the? Okay. Way to look suspicious. Is this the general finally coming to be like, yo, did you kill Okafor? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. I think Rick's right, babe. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Michonne. What you. <laughs> she got a look on her face. Oh my god. Oh, danger. She's dangerous, that's for damn sure. Oh! That's. Mobhead. What's her name? Ah! Ew, yes it has. She's out of line, but she's correct. That was her watching the tape. What does she want? Yeah, that's what he told her when she was like, could we try? Well, right now it looked like he wanted to bite your damn throat out. That was amazing. Gonna rate it an eight out of ten. Let's talk about it. Um. Wow. Okay. 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 First of all, wait. Can I just say my shit for hard? Is okay. <laughs> But I'm so happy. Actually, I don't know what I was expecting for like the end of the episode. I just knew that I I, I needed to see it. I, I was scared that they were just going to end it the last place that they left off. But I'm so glad that they showed us more. And what they showed us, Michonne just, just lying with the ease and the quickness. And the, oh yeah, my name is Dana. And I was in a, with a group with my boyfriend. And, and um you know and and when you really think about it there are like shades of truth to some of the stuff she was saying especially the last couple of things she said those are like things that that uh, that nat told her nat dying like okay so i guess just 
fuck it. Everybody knew your meat is just gonna fucking die. Like, damn. And I Like I said um, before, it's been a minute since I've watched The Walking Dead and I forgot, like, you know, they just be killing motherfuckers. Just be killing folk. You know, they kill Coral, they kill Glenn, they, you know, they kill folks. Nat was really fucking cool. Just this, his whole, like, pyromaniac dude with the, he's got toys, he calls them toys, scream sticks. You know, I really enjoyed his character. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to see what is going to happen uh, next. I love Rick. I love Michonne. I think it's pretty clear that Rick is, I mean, I won't, I was thinking broken the last um, episode, but I don't know. I'm not going to say broken. He definitely is, I don't know. He's scared. That's for sure. He's definitely scared because he has, he has endured so much trying to get out of his place and he has not managed to do it. And the last thing he did was basically burn his heart, his identity, and say, okay, well, I guess I'm dead now. During that really cool sequence where they were like opening that facility, or you know, he's like, I don't see the, the trees, I don't see the sun, I don't see you know, the past, I don't see you anymore. All I see is the shit that I gotta do. Um, that really, that, that really fucked me up. <laughs> That was really cool. So I get it. And I cannot wait to see how Rick and Michonne are going to, what are they gonna do? Because she clearly wants to fight. Like you can see it all in her eyes. You can see it all in her face. And he has given up his fight. Like the only fighting that he does is the fighting that he has to do for the CRM. He was about to go along with Okafor's plan, you know, and I know, I guess he's trying, he wants to escape, but then Jadis is threatening the same thing Okafor threatened, which is basically, if you try to escape, I'm gonna kill everybody that you love, and shit, I'm gonna, even people that I care about, which I guess means she, she will do exactly what happened with Omaha. Another great episode. Um, this is my watch list. It's, uh, it's number one on my list right now. And I'm really enjoying it. If you like what you see, please like the video. Thanks. Bye.